Howdy, y'all. The Dip Bros. Back. Dip Brothers. Devin. Josh. I think that's my name. <laughs> Either way. This is a sad day, ladies and gentlemen. It truly is. We are down to the last of a couple of days. And somehow it's still... No, actually, it's right side up. Okay, never mind, never mind. I thought it was upside down, because usually when I face it this way, I think it's upside down, but no, when it's like this, it's back. Now, anyways. <laughs> so, anyways, we're on our last can. Yep, last can, and we're talking about... that out, anyways. And we're gonna be talking about hunt or um, camping stories today. Gotta have four songs. <sighs> Last can. Sad. Sad, sad. I haven't okay. checked this in a while. What the shit is that? Ladies and gentlemen, we are down to this match for now. Till it's gonna be gone. In the arms of the angel, fly away from here. Either way, would you like to start off doing that? Alright. So, as a kid, I used to go camping a lot with my dad. When his dad was still alive. My dad was still alive, and, and, had, and this boy had diabetes. Sure. And um, one time we went camping, we had Josh with us. God help my soul. And there's a storm supposed to be pull, rolling in, and we got there when it was like still kind of cloudy, a little bit of sunny, and I'm fucking taking all of it. Okay, whatever. And then, um, it just started pouring down rain and thunder and everything. And then, uh, we had to, like, leave the camping trailer. And then, uh, we were, like, halfway down the road, and my dad's like, where's Pistol? So we had to turn back and get my dog Pistol. Hmm. And I have no dip today, so... Hang on, y'all. <laughs> so, prior to that, hey, something, shut up. Some bitch. If you don't want it, I'm it. nope. Shut up. Achilles left half of that dip for me. But then you found a dick. The fuck. It actually doesn't smell that bad. It smells like some kind of candy I've seen with Red Bull. It's not. I'm not joking. It smell anything. No, I swear. It does not smell that bad. Trust me. This sounds like some kind of mint fucking candy. Oh, shit. But anyway, before that hand, we got there. I decided to go down to a creek. Want to tell them about the little creek story that happened? Mm. Like we said, ladies and gentlemen, keep dipping. But you want to tell them about the multiple snakes that tried to kill me and I killed one? 
Oh, that was a different camping trip. Mm-mm. Um, same so, place. Same place. No. Yeah, it was. Where we went, we were left pistol. That was the same flat. Oh, yeah. So, uh, one time, other time, was when he decided to go down the creek. I saw my dad set up everything. And then... And then, uh... After we were done setting up everything, I went down to the creek to go look for him, and he was in the creek playing and all. So I got off my bike, went down the trail, went down to the creek, and I had my shorts on, so I got down my sh- my shorts and my I took my shirt off, went in the creek. Next thing I know, I think it was I looked over right. Mm-hmm. I looked over and then I saw this freaking snake, and flipped the hell out, and I was like snake, and we had to run out of the creek. And then there's another snake on the bank. So I ran up the hill, up the trail, and, and it was like, I didn't know, I didn't know it was there, so I'm just walking up like, is there any others? It was right behind my damn foot. Yeah, there was two other snakes up the trail. No, one was actually right behind my foot. It's like, it's right, right from fucking behind you, look over. I see that thing looking at me like, mouth wide open, I'm gonna bite you, nigga. I'm like, hell no! You ain't bite nobody today. Luckily, it was just a little... Or a snake about, oh, about like this long. So after we cope, I come back, smash one with a damn rock, even though it wouldn't die because I kept on moving. Finally gets his head. And I was kind of young at this time, never really skinned a... Uh, Sorry to say this, but I never really learned how to skin a snake. So I decided to cook it with the skin on. And I had a dull fucking knife to do it with, too. A freaking dull ass knife. Out of the millions of knives these assholes must have had in that fucking trailer, they advised me to use my fucking dull ass knife. I couldn't even cut myself when I was like this. Ah! I literally had to rape that thing so hard with that knife. It took freaking about 15 minutes just to get the guts and the skin cut. Yeah. I would have done better with a damn butter knife that's been rusted for 78 years. And hasn't been sharpened. So... First time ever, I put on a dang marshmallow sticky thing. Fried up. Doesn't smell too good. So I was like, that. Here come the meat bees. Oh, happy day. I'm fucking happy. I hate bees. I'm allergic to bees. Hate the fuckers. Assholes. So, they're chasing after me. I'm just like, eh, this thing doesn't look right. He's like, nope, that don't look right either. So I in the bushes over there. Of course, the meat bees go after it. Right next to camp. Yeah, they could have for all I care. Next to camp. Well, we're sleeping in a damn tent. Mm-hmm. There's in the bushes. They've been fine. They would have ate it and just ran away. Or flew away. That also reminds me of another story. When I was in second grade, we took a field trip to Pinecrest wasn't a good day. I'm just walking around, enjoying the lake. Then all of a sudden, someone says, Fucking bees! Turns out some idiot threw two rocks at a beehive. Not a tiny beehive, my ladies and gentlemen. Fucking literally full-on fucking beehive. Next day, no. Whole area is surrounded with fucking bees where I'm at. I get stung right now. Do you say fucking every two sentences? In the memory of Rocco Lloyd. <laughs> he knows it's true. Effort every fucking sentence. But yeah, it stung me on right on the ankle. I swallowed. Hey, hmm. Smell this one? It smells pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
Take well, a look at that one. Well, mine smells like freaking mint candy. His smells like death. Like, legit, like a skunk should have died in this fucking thing. Looks along with 10 fucking 10,000 shits of pain. But yeah, I get stung an ankle. I'm throwing up the rest of the way home. Mom calls. I go home. I was not happy. I literally reach down. There's a fucking bee right in my shoe. I'm wearing sneakers during this time. Because I was a little kid and we can wear boots on the damn trip. I don't know why. Smells like someone took a shit in this and just pissed in it and let it sit for two years. But yeah. I reach down. There's a fucking bee inside my sneaker. Pull out. Smush it. And I'm out. That was the only time I got stung. I hate the fucker. I'm allergic to bees too. I found out I was allergic to bees when I was like six. No. No, it's actually when I was like eight years old and I was playing football. I just put on uh, the Junior Cats team or whatever back in like 2008 and 2009. Yeah, I used to be at that school. And uh, it's not a school, it's a team. No, it's not the school that you're at. Third time. Oh, yeah. And. So, we were playing a game, and we were over in Jacksonville, and, uh, <clears throat> no, it's actually uh, Somerville, or Somerville High, where I got, uh, stung by the bee, and then, uh, after the game, I was feeling really woozy and shit, and, uh, I had to go see a doctor about it. Turns out I'm allergic to bees. My mom's definitely allergic to bees. That's where I get my thing from. I don't think it's... What, is it genetic? Yeah, it's genetic. It'll be genetic. My mom's definitely allergic to bees. She gets stung. She has to go immediately to the hospital. I ain't hear it some of that. I don't go to the hospital. I just get fucking sick like hell. Well, is that about it for this video? Or we could tell... Let's see here. Anyway, so what's the word of the day, dear bud? I had one today. I, I remember saying it today, but I don't remember the word. Chevy. Chevy. That's what it is. Chevy. Can't... Hunt? Can't hunt every varmint yearly. Chevy. All right, boys. Hopefully, by next video, we'll have something new and not Copenhagen wintergreen. Yep, either Copenhagen straight, maybe grizzly snuff that I hate, or whiskey, or <sighs> Copenhagen whiskey. All right, boys. Stay dipping. Dippers out. See y'all later.